Hello everyone, Brandon Montemayor here with Montemayor & Associates, your number one real estate resource. So one of the questions we get asked quite often is how much money do I need to buy a home? So we've gone over before the obvious things such as your down payment, your closing costs and things like that, All right, But there's a few unexpected or not always counted on costs that need to be considered as well. So let's jump in and talk about those uh, five costs. All right, so again, you have your typical things when you're buying a home, your down payment, which can be anywhere from 0% down if you have a VA loan, to 3.5% down uh, as a VA, 5, 10, 20%, and so on. So, and then you have your closing costs, which can vary depending on what type of loan, what the purchase price is, and we can go over details on that. But five things to consider throughout the process and even after that you should sock money away for and count on spending money on and uh, that way you're 100% prepared. So number one is the appraisal, all right? So that comes in during the transaction, right? And that's through the lender, but those appraisals can be anywhere from four to $600, sometimes a little bit more. So that's one thing to consider. Number two is your inspections. Your uh, home inspection can range anywhere from three, $400 to seven, $800 or more, depending on the size of the house, if there's a pool and spa, or any other items in the house that need to be inspected specifically. You have your termite inspection, which can be anywhere from 85 to $100, again, depending on the size of the house. But again, that's another cost we have to think about. So number three, in this market specifically, is additional funds for appraisal gap coverage. So when there's multiple offers and we go above the list price or above where we think it could appraise for, Having additional funds set aside is something that can uh, help you stand out, help you win in this competitive environment, okay? Number four is uh, the move, all right? Not always, uh, not everyone always considers that. Boxes can get expensive. If you hire a moving company, that's something that can get expensive as well. We have some great resources for both of those things if you need it, but again, put away some money for the move. And then finally, the immediate costs that you run into after the close of escrow, such as deposits to get utilities set up, uh, installing TVs, security systems, having a locksmith come out and change uh, the keys to the doors, basic maintenance around the house that you need to get done that you found from the home inspection, so the house is in good working order, like changing filters or whatever it may be, so your house stays in tip-top shape and holds its value. So. There you go, five things additional to consider beyond your down payment and closing costs. If you have any questions, you know where to find us. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.